Hey guys, it's Reagan, and today I'm here to film a book haul for you guys, which is kind of hilarious to me because I went into, co into college. I'm thinking, you know, like, oh, you're probably going to have a really small September book haul, Reagan, because you're not going to buy any books. You're not going to have any money. But then, but then, but then, but then Goodwill is like five minutes away from where I live, and it has like the best book section. It's freaking ridiculous. But yeah, so I have, I don't know, like 15 books to show you guys for this month's book haul. Doing real good, Reagan. You're doing real good. Obviously. Okay, so the first books I'm going to show you guys are actually the ones I bought from the Amazon.com because they're the smallest group. And the very first book I bought this month was Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss. Freaking love this book. I've already read it. I've already done a review on it, which I'll link down below. It is a sequel to Throne of Glass. It was words I cannot express. I cannot express. And the next two books I bought from Amazon, the first one is, and I'm so excited about this book, is More Than This by Patrick Ness. And if you didn't know how obsessed I am with Patrick Ness, I'll tell you. He wrote the Chaos Walking trilogy, which I read this summer, raved about, obsessed about, cried about. And he just released this book called More Than This, and it follows a boy named Seth who remembers dying, right? Violently, I may add. And then he wakes up in like the suburban neighborhood with no one there, and he's trying to figure out, you know, what's going on. And literally, I read the first 30 pages of this. Had I was like, Jesus, this book is gonna blow my mind. Cause it, and then stopped, because it was three in the morning and I had class the next day, and I've decided I'm gonna save this for You'll find out. But yeah, this book, this book, excitement, words, seriously. The next book I bought, um, I'm really excited because, I don't know, fall's kind of starting to happen in Texas. It's like, I don't know, what was it, like 92 degrees today outside. Whew, we're really cooling down. And um, so anyway, Halloween's coming, and Halloween's like my favorite holiday. Freaking love Halloween. So I bought this book kind of because it made me think of Halloween, and that is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I, um, I kind of know what this is about. It seems to be like uh, there's vampires in this world that this girl lives in, but not everyone is a vampire, and they're kind of sectioned off in something called the Cold Town, and kind of once you go to Cold Town, you never come back. And our main character is going to Cold Town, so I guess we'll see if she comes back. Yeah. So those are all the books I bought from Amazon. The next book I bought from Costco. Hey yo, check your local Costco's everyone. And that book is The Program by Suzanne Young. I'm very intrigued by this book. I've seen a few booktubers talk about it and so when I saw it at La Costco for $10.99, I jumped on that. I was like, mm, mm, buying it, buying it, buying it. And if you didn't know, this kind of is a book I suppose uh, depression is considered a disease, like it's an epidemic in this world and they're trying to eradicate it. And our main character was put in this hospital type place because she has the disease and they're trying to cure her of depression. But I'm pretty sure there's more than that. It's like, you know, but we'll find out because I'm not sure what else is there. But you know, it seems really interesting. Plus, plus, that's cool. I can look at that guy when I'm bored. She looks a little scary, but he's nice. The next couple of books I got sent by a publisher, and that publisher is um, Simon & Schuster, and they were very nice and sent me quite a few lovely books. The first two being arcs. The first arc being Bang by Lisa McMahon, and this is book two of the Visions book series. I have not read the first one. It intrigues me. Um, so yeah, I'm actually interested. Did you, have any, has anyone read the first one of this and liked it? Because I read the Wake series by the same author and didn't like it. Ooh, there's a bookmark in here. Sorry. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and didn't like it. So I'm interested to see if anyone has read this and liked it. Cause that will make me really want to read the first one. So thoughts. And the second, um, arc I got sent was Perfect Ruin by Lauren DeStefano, and this seems like a perfect kind of like Halloween book and slash like wintry time book. And this comes out in October, and this one comes out also in October. So these both come out in October. And 
the next uh, three books I got sent by them are already out. And it's funny, the first one I actually started reading because I was reading, I started more than this and I was like, I'm not ready for my life to be changed. I'm gonna save this for a later date. So then I started reading a book that they sent me because I've heard, I've heard a lot about it and I was like, you know, I'm gonna start reading that. And literally this book is probably one of the best young adult books in the literary sense that I have ever read. Like prior to this, I never really thought books could be taught in a school set and young adult books could really be taught in a young um, in a school setting but then I read this or been reading this book and my opinion is shifting just because of this book because this book is that good and that is let me just tell you what the book is the house of the scorpion by Nancy Farmer this book is ridiculously good and I'm not just saying from a plot standpoint I'm saying from a literary and story symbolic character growth standpoint like it is extremely well done so far. I am more than halfway through. I have like a 70 or 80 pages left. Or actually I have like a hundred pages left. And it's just so good. And I'm actually thinking about doing a whole discussion based around how I classify different young adult fiction, be it like a literary sense or just plot and enjoyment, entertainment sense. Anyway, let me know if you're interested in that. But needless to say, this book is spectacular. Yes. And they also sent me, much to my very ex excitement, is um, The Lord of Opium, which is the sequel to The House of Scorpion, which I will probably read directly afterwards, because it is, the book is, it's just so freaking good. It's just so good. And the last book they sent me is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which, cool. I've already read this a couple times, I really like it, but I'm really happy about this edition, because they sent me this really cool edition. Cause I have like the lame one, I don't know, cause I got it from my school, so it wasn't very pretty, but this one is really pretty. Hey guys, did you ever know this? I'm gonna let you know. But this is a pretty famous painting on the cover of The Great Gatsby, but you know there's little naked ladies in the eyeballs. You ever know that? You ever know that? Okay, moving on. The last like seven books, I think, I got from Goodwill, which were all like a couple of dollars, and it was like amazing. And the first book I saw there, I nearly, I nearly squealed because I've almost bought this book full price like 10 times. And that is The Magicians by Love Grossman in freaking hardback, perfect condition. Um, if you guys didn't know, people have been dubbing this like the adult Harry Potter. So it's a fantasy novel and uh, I like fantasy and I like Harry Potter. So yes, I'm very much looking forward to reading this quite a bit. Plus this cover is just so pretty. I really, really like this cover. Everything about it. And the next book, the next hardcover I got there is a book I already own, but I saw it there for a dollar. And it's such a pretty edition of the book that I was like, Reagan, just get it. And that is The Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson. And like I said, I've already, I already bought this book for 50 cents like a couple months ago, but then I saw this for a dollar. It is so pretty. I mean, like this, and then you take the dust jacket off, and then it's like on fire on the inside. I just, what? I still cannot accurately describe what The Gargoyle is about. Someone explained it to me when I first hauled it, and I was like, that book seems awesome. So I would just say, The Gargoyle seems awesome. And if you like history and good books, read it. The next book I found there, I think it's kind of funny because it's an arc. <laughs> and it's an arc of Shades of Grey by Ruta Septites. Anyway, I've heard, oh, I'm sorry, Between Shades of Grey, not Shades of Grey. Shades of Grey is a completely different book. Anyway. And that's an, another book beyond Fit Between Shades of Grey and Shades of Grey. There's Fifty Shades of Grey, which is an entirely different conversation. Anyway, so Between Shades of Grey, um, I've heard amazing things about, pretty sure it's extremely depressing, so I'm probably going to save this for winter break to where I can, like, look, like, cry, I can cry and then I'll have to go out in public afterwards. But I'm really excited to read this. I'm really happy I found it for a dollar. The next book I got, I was really excited to see, and it has a half price book sticker, but I got it at Goodwill, and that is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gurn, Gurn, Gurn. 
And I don't know, I've just heard a lot of really interesting things about this. It's set in a circus, historical fiction, apparently people say it's amazing, and I saw it for super cheap, and I just, honestly, I couldn't pass it up. I don't really have another reason for you besides that, and I know it's a really good book. I haven't seen the movie, so really, I don't really know what it's about, so I'm excited to get to this whenever I get to it. The next book, again, I already own, but I bought, like, this massive hardcover version of it and it's huge and it takes up way too much space and I saw this for a dollar and I was like you know what I'm gonna get that edition and that's The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niff the rest of her name is covered by this sticker and um yes I've like I said I already own this and this follows is a love story between two people but the man travels forward and back in time so it's kind of how they deal with that it sounds super depressing also, another movie I haven't seen, but I want to read the book first, but it's probably going to make me cry, so I'll probably save this for winter break, too. And the last book I got, oh, they all fall down, and they all fall down. And the last book I got is actually a sequel to a book I read on my iPad, like, in May, and that is Magic Study by Marie V. Snyder. And cool, because literally right before I bought this book at Goodwill for $3, I was gonna buy it off Amazon for $9. So, there you go kids. Check your local Goodwill first. And I actually really wanna acquire this whole series, but you know, that I'll probably do it via thrifting because it's been out a while and I think there's probably a lot of copies shimming around town. So yes, everyone, there is my September book haul. Like if you like, comment down below, you know, any interesting books you got this month and hopefully I have time to read those in the future. <laughs> okay, bye!